Hello guys, I'm Timothy Earl with Earl Sports Bets and Picks and Parlays, and welcome back to another edition of Falling Out with Tim Earl. We got some NBA to talk to you guys about. Four games lined up on the docket. We'll be looking at the Knicks and the uh, Wizards, Sixers, Hawks, Nuggets, Pelicans, and then Houston and Clippers. Before we jump into this one, if you guys are interested in all of the plays over on the site, picksandparlays.net forward slash Tim, that's where you can find all of them. One week pass, $70 for all the sports. And then make sure you guys are also following Earl Sports Bets on all social media platforms. YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram are the big four. Uh, we appreciate everybody who does go and follow. Let's jump into it. We'll start off with the Knicks and the Wizards. The Knicks are six and a half point favorites with a total of 228 in this game. And um, I'm going to start doing something that I've been doing with the Pacers. I'm going to do it with the Wizards. Wizards are eight and three to the over. Yeah, we're just going to start grabbing overs with uh, Wizards games as well. Um, I know I haven't been doing it as much, but I, I should be. This is a Wizards team that is dead last in scoring or in defense. Uh, they're allowing, or not dead last now, uh, they are, but they are allowing 123.2 points a game, and they're scoring 115.5. So this is a team that's scoring points, so I'm expecting more. Let's keep uh, rolling over to 28. Over to the Sixers and the Hawks. Hawks are a one-point favorite, total of 223 and a half in this game. And after starting off the year 8-1, and one, the Sixers have dropped two straight, going up against Trey Young and the Hawks, who just lost to the Knicks. And um, I looked at this line went, why are the Hawks favorite? That doesn't make sense. Give me them. Give me the Hawks in this one. You get a uh, Sixers team that I was not super high on coming into the year, and uh, they had a really good start. I think they're going to slow down just a little bit. Uh, I do think the Sixers are going to be a good team this year. But when it comes to it, I think that their next win, they may lose a couple in a row. A um, couple more in a row, I should say. But I will be grabbing the Hawks minus the 115 in this one. Let's head over to Denver and uh, New Orleans. Uh, Denver's a four-and-a-half point road favorite with a total of 224-and-a-half. Denver team, best team in the league, 9-2 and two to start the year. Uh, Pelicans, 5-6. and six. Uh, But one of the big things with the Pelicans right now is their – um, although they have, no, they've actually been higher scoring, but they have been going up against Dallas, which is a higher scoring team. Denver, one of the bigger under teams in basketball, three and eight to the under, including under in the last three out of, uh, in the last three games. I think this is going to be a heavy under team, especially without Jamal Murray, uh, because yes, Jamal Murray was good on defense, but he was a big piece, uh, piece of that offense and they have been having to mix up some pieces. So um, I do expect Denver to win this game, but I'm going to be taking this one under the total. Let's go into the last game, which is the Clippers and the Rockets. The Clippers are five and a half point favorites in this one with 217 and a half. And um, in case you guys haven't noticed, the Clippers have still not won a game in the James Harden era. What, what's going to change now? I don't think anything changes now. Uh, go ahead. Give me the Rockets plus the five and a half. I'm just going to continue to fade. Uh, the Clippers, and I, at the end of the day, I made I've made enough money in order for if I lose one, fine. So just hand me the Rockets plus five and a half, continuing to fade the Clippers. Uh, keep in mind we're gonna have a college basketball card up as uh, up tomorrow, hockey card up tomorrow. Um, these NBA plays will be up tomorrow. College football, we might have a game up tomorrow. We'll see. I'm not 100 sure yet. All of our plays. Picksandparlays.net forward slash Tim. It's where you can get a week pass for $70. And then make sure you guys are uh, following Earl Sports Bets on all social media platforms. Recap time. Uh, we'll be grabbing the over in the Knicks game. We'll be grabbing the uh, Hawks on the money line minus the 115. We'll be grabbing the under in the Pelicans game. And we'll be grabbing the Rockets plus the five and a half. That's going to do it for this edition of Balling Out with Tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching and 